Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I'm doing my project today for hashtag make art with Martha. I'm just starting out to cut out all of my bunny rabbits that I drew and colored for this project. And I have sped it up because I know this is kind of a tedious process, but I do love the sound of the cutting of the papers. So I did leave the sound in. So I hope you don't mind that I sped this up because it does take a little bit of time to cut things out. And I'm not really fussy cutting. I'm just cutting around the edges because I will be inking them up and you will see me inking them up in the next section. And I am creating three little projects and I will show them all at the end, but I'm only actually doing one on camera just so you can see my process. I like to share my process. And I hope you enjoy this video and I will be back in just a moment. Here are all three of my little bunnies all cut out and ready to be inked up. I'm going to begin the process of inking with my ground espresso. I like to start off with the browns and then the blacks and you will see me also inking up with Memento Tuxedo Black or it may be Black Tuxedo. can't remember which one it is called. And I will also speed up this process. It is also another tedious process, I think, to watch, even though it is very satisfying and enjoyable to do.
as I just put the inks away, I just want to show you how sweet my little inked up creepy bunnies look. And we will go on to the next phase. I will be actually putting the little project together. I'm just going to start out this little project inking up my web stamp with my black ink. Need to get some good coverage all over it so that every single spot will have a spider web on it. I'm just going to rub it in with my handy dandy lid. That works for me. And it just makes the polka dots look creepy. I'm just going to ink up the edges just to get that sharp edge off and get the Beck style that I love. And I think that looks really, really good for my first layer. And I'm going to also ink up the base layer of the cardstock, which is a white cardstock, and I tea dyed it with Taylor's Tea. It makes it a nice dark color. But I'm inking up the edges just so it all blends together. I have this nice, cool looking gothic butterfly die cut that I cut out of coffee dyed cardstock. And I'm just going to ink it up with black ink very gently. Just place the full pad down and wiggle the ink pad a little bit and drag it across it. And it will give it that nice dark black color that I'm looking for for the butterfly wings that I'm going to attach to the back of each of the bunnies. Here's just a scrap that I'm going to ink up the edges and just place it on the corner of the polka dot paper just to give it another layer. I'm just going to check out the placement of this for the polka dot paper and put that ink away for the moment. Just going to make sure that I have that cut small enough to go inside of the cardstock folder or base. I think that that will be perfect on the corner there. Just going to pull this adhesive um, protection off here, that sheet. And going to see for the placement. Just get a point of where I think that I should put it on there. I'm going to glue it because this is such old paper. The adhesive doesn't really stick for too well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some art glitter glue on it. And go ahead and put that in the center, pretty much, kind of, sort of, for me, the center back style. Which, nothing is really truly centered or straight or anything like that. That's just how I like it. Press it down and make sure that the glue has adhered well. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more inking on the edges of that because it looked like there was too much white showing through. I'm going to go ahead and put some art glitter glue on this corner piece. And it just adds another layer for that on top of that polka dot. I think that is going to look really nice. And let's see if we like the placement here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's just smash it down and make sure that it is adhered well. Oh, I think that looks really good. So now I'm just going to start off with getting my pieces placed. I want the wings on the, I want the wings to appear to be on the bunny's back like it's a butterfly bunny, even though it's creepy. I think the black wings gives it another creep factor. So I'm just going to put some glue down here just to adhere it for a bit. There, I think that I have the wings where I want them. Just want to ink up the top of the bunny ears. That way if it sticks over the page a bit, it won't be so noticeable as the Sark White would. That's just my preference. Put some on the little feet too, so in case those go over. They may not, but it's easier to ink it now than it is later. And then I have this creepy little boy. This is Tim Holtz, one of his paper dolls. 
and I just purchased these so I'm having a lot of fun with them first time purchaser on the Tim Holtz paper dolls and I think it works really well with this bunny this boy doesn't look really excited about being next to this creepy bunny I think it is really really funny <laughs> creepy bunny just working out the placement of it sometimes you just have to work with it to get it to fit I think I figured it out now I think that looks really well go ahead and glue the little boy so that he is attached so he didn't take off while I'm trying to get everything else placed on the page this is really a fun project for me I'm really liking these paper dolls I'm gonna try to get this dry a little by fanning it <laughs> Just starting now to put some more of the Tim Holtz ephemera pieces on. Picked out a piece that has a lot of white in it. It's actually black and white. So I'm going to use the Ground Espresso and ink it up. Ink the entire thing up so that I can place it down and it goes well. I like it that it already has black on it. So I just inked up with the Ground Espresso. Just going to glue this little piece down because it will go underneath the creepy bunny and the little boy. Just, you know, work with it just for a moment because it does dry pretty quickly, but you do have a moment to move it around for placement. I think that looks good. Just size it up with the child and the bunny. And I think this little bingo card will work really well also. I'm going to go ahead and ink up all the edges so it blends in a little bit better, makes it more Beck style. And I'm also going to use the aged mahogany to give it a little bit of a red tint. Might bring out the bunny's red patches and red eyes and little red teeth. Go ahead and glue that on that corner. I think that looks good. Constantly checking for the placement of where the child and the bunny are going to be. This is already red and a gold color, I think. And it has a little bit of color to it, like a brown on the front. But I went ahead and inked it up just so that it would flow a little bit better with the whole entire little project I have going on here. I think that placement looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And I am using art glitter glue just because it does dry faster. And I don't have a lot of patience when I'm crafting. I like things to dry quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Just need another little piece right up there at the top. Just getting that figured out. Placement of those two items. Also need some a creepy phrase or a creepy sentiment. So I went ahead and got out the same thing that I have been using. And cut one of those out. Let's see, what do we want to back it with? I think it does need something like a little piece of darker color to back it with. I think it will stand out better. So I'm just going to go through these pretty florally greenery, brown greenery <laughs> pages. And I think I found one with kind of reds in it, red hues. I think will go well with the page. Just going to trim it down really, really close so that it will... Um, so it'll look better so it doesn't have so much of the tea stained border showing and just going to ink it up with black ink make it a little creepier a little more back style I'm also going to go in with the aged mahogany so it'll have a little bit of a red hue to it also Must have got too much red, so I'm going to go back in with some black and get rid of some of the red. <laughs> a 
Okay, I like that better with a little more black on, a little less red. So I'm just going to take this tiny strip of sentiment and put it down here on the darker pattern paper so it has a nice little border. Just going to cut it out and see the placement before I glue it down. That's a bit too much on the border. I'm going to go ahead and cut some more of that border off. Just snip off all four sides. I really overestimated the size I needed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges so you don't see the white edge on the border I just glued on the sentiment. That, I think, will look really, really well. Yeah, I like that. I think I need something in that little spot right there. Right below the bunny's hand. Just thinking about it, I have, oh, you know, I have some of the teeny tiny... Tim Holtz stuff separated here. I'm in the middle of organizing it all, but I wanted to go ahead and work on this project. Kind of looking for something that has red lettering. I think that will tie in really well because I can ink it up to, if I want black or brown accents on it. Or ink, not accents. <laughs> I think I found some pieces that will work. I like this one. It's an oval, so it's going to give a little bit different shape. I think that's going to look good. Just playing around with placement of everything. I like to have several things out and then ink them up and then just see which placement looks better to me. I think I might have, yes, I think I am ready to glue those pieces down on the other side here. Just going to put that one, I think, way to right up in the corner there. I think that, that will work. Checking the placement. Every time I put something down, I check the placement. It's much easier to check now than it is to try to peel up a piece that's been glued. That's just what works for me. I'm going to glue my little oval down. I think that is going to work. Another little piece there to add. There we go. I think I have them all nice and adhered. Just inking up that background a bit. It was just a little too light. Just checking to make sure I have the sentiment small enough to fit in that space and that it looks good. Looks like the bunny ears might stick up a little tiny bit, so checking the placement, make sure I don't put glue too far up. Don't really want to glue it to the table. Just making sure I get glue on all the teeny tiny little delicate pieces of that gothic butterfly that I inked up black. Just takes a bit to get glue onto everything. really excited to show you all three of these projects that I made little pieces of ephemera I will show them all three at the end let's see what we have here oh you need to glue that bunny hand down there we go that looks great Just need to put that sentiment on there. Just playing with the placement. I think I got it. Let's go ahead and glue it down. 
I'm really excited to see the end of this. To see what it looks like. Oh, that looks so cute. Just give it a good smash and make sure the glue is all smashed down in there since there's a lot of layers. Now that turned out really adorable. Such a creepy, cute bunny and that little child. Just, oh, they look so cute together. Just love it. This is the Creepy Bunnies reveal of my project. This one is the one I made on camera. It is the flip up which I'll show you in just a moment after I show you these, how you can use them in a journal. But this is, the measurements on this, is four inches by four and a quarter. About four by four and a quarter. And the creepy little bunny and the little boy. And it says, an unfortunate ending. <laughs> That's so funny. And I used a bunch of Tim Holtz ephemera and these are the paper doll Tim Holtz. And I thought it came out really, really creepy cute. And the bunny, of course, has the little butterfly wings on it. So we'll polka dot in the bag and a label there. Here's another one that I did. Let's see. This one is a side tuck. This one is four and a quarter by four and a quarter by about four. And this little boy in the bunny in the background I have stamped course the spider web and all of these pieces except for of course the paper the paper was paper scraps are Tim Holtz ephemera this is one of the books in the Tim Holtz ephemera and I actually put some pages in it is that not the cutest it looks like the boy and the bunny are reading the book and the sentiment is the memory of it <laughs> it doesn't look so creepy when it's with the little kids, but I think they're still creepy looking. Of course, a label, and you can journal on the inside and on the back. Then here is the big creepy bunny. Here's the back of a journal card. Just did the spider web on it. And there he is, my little Cyclops. So cute. Really pleased with it. Of course, all of them have some butterfly wings. And an uninvited guest is the sentiment on this one. Of course, a little label that you can put anything you want on it, the date or a title. All of this is Tim Holtz ephemera, except for this. Of course, I made this from scratch myself. And then, of course, I drew my bunnies. <laughs> They're so creepy funny. Let me just show you how you can use them in a journal. It's just see how we could just stick these in a journal. Let's see. How about take the bunny, and it's really pretty big, so we will just take a little scrappy paper clip. Just keep the bunny in there. That is really cute. So you can flip over to that last page have your bunny in there, pull it out, journal on it, and just put it back in. That is really cute. So let's see about the other two here. Let's find another page. This is over the top. So let's just pop it over the top here. That is really cute. Just pop the little paper clip down on there. And I love paper clips. Love them. That looks really cute. When you open it up, there it is. You can turn on the back, put stickers on the back, and you can just pull it out, turn on the inside. Then this one, I think we can find a page, side page just to tuck it in. That little book is so darling. This one just tucks onto the side just like that. Let's see how that looks. Let me open it up. That is really cute. <laughs> I'm very pleased with them. The memory of it. Looks like the little boy's just mortified. <laughs> oh, yes. So you can obviously tell that I drew and colored all the bunnies, but I will link the video below where I colored the bunny. I will link that video below so you can pop down there and go watch that video also where I'm coloring the bunnies. Here is my project for hashtag 
make art with Martha. Martha gives us a prompt once a month and I've really enjoyed doing the prompts. They're pretty generic and anybody can join in. But it was bunnies or rabbits for the month of March and a new prompt will come out around April the 20th. So thanks so much Martha for hosting and this is for hashtag make art with Martha. And the prompt was bunnies or rabbits. And I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful crafting day.